Hey YouTube, this is City Prepping. In this video, we'll discuss 10 easy steps that can help prevent a home invasion. Your home is your castle. Keeping it secure and your family safe should be a high priority. While many videos focus on how to handle a burglar once they have entered your home, we'll instead focus on methods to reduce making your home an easy target. Consider the mindset of someone wanting to illegally enter your home. Most burglars or home invaders are opportunists. They're looking for easy targets with a low chance of risk to themselves. Finding a way to reduce the probability that someone would want to illegally enter your home can be done in 10 easy steps, which we'll discuss here. Number one, lock your doors and windows. Now, this may seem like common sense, but many people forget to lock doors and windows, and they provide an easy access point to burglars. According to the FBI, about 30% of burglaries in the United States are considered unlawful entry, meaning intruders were able to gain entry without breaking in, usually through an unlocked door. Each night before I go to bed, I go through the routine of checking all the doors and windows to make sure they're locked. Regarding the locks, use deadbolt locks at a minimum as opposed to simple push button locks. For another layer of protection, consider using a door security bar. If someone tries to kick down your door, they'll find this to be a very difficult task. Sliding glass doors and windows are also very vulnerable. Using a wooden dowel or another solid object helps prevent windows and sliding doors from being opened should the lock be compromised. And don't forget to lock the door going out to the garage. If someone gains entry into your garage, they can easily walk into your house if you don't lock that door as well. I have a neighbor who recently had their car broken into in front of their house. They left the car doors unlocked, and when the burglar accessed the car, there was a garage door opener inside the car. The burglar opened the garage door and was able to steal tools out of their house. So here's a few additional tips. When moving into a new home, have all your locks changed. Put a lock on the circuit breaker if outside the house. Make sure the door hinges are on the inside of doors, not on outside. Never leave keys under doormats, flower pots, mailboxes, or other quote-unquote secret hiding places. Number two. Make your house well lit at night. Someone looking to enter your home doesn't want to be seen. I have several different lights on at night outside my house to make my house very visible. It's easy to forget to turn these lights on sometimes, so I just set them up on automatic timers and some of the lights have photosensitive switches on them. Number three, make it appear someone is at home. Contrary to popular belief, most home invasions don't occur at night. Instead, 65% of them often occur between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Most times, a burglar attempting to access your home during the day will pose as a salesman to find out if someone is home. Often, they'll knock on your door, and if no one responds, they'll either try to gain access via the door they just knocked on or other points of entry. Number four, learn to rely on neighbors to watch your house. Now, the best way to have good neighbors is to be a good neighbor. Take the time to develop a great relationship with your neighbors and develop a network with them. Number five, removing shrubbery from around your house. Trim trees and shrubs so they cannot be used as hiding place for intruders. Also, consider putting plants around your house that have thorns. Anything you can do to make it difficult for them to get close to your house will make it that much more challenging. Number six, barking dog. You don't necessarily need a large attack dog, but rather a small barking dog will do just as fine. If the animal makes noises and barks, someone may think twice about attempting to break into your home. Point in case. I'll provide a link to a, a pretty funny video where a home burglar is scared off by a small Yorkie dog. While it's a funny video, the reality is, is that when someone is trying to break into your home, they're probably already nervous and a dog like this can do the trick to scare them away. Number seven, home security systems. In the context of our discussion to prevent a home invasion, having a visible home security system or the appearance of a home security system can work in your favor. And on a side note, some would argue that having a visible home security system would give a burglar a reason to suspect you might have something that's worth stealing. I argue differently. A home security system can give you an advantage if it alerts you that someone is trying to break into your home. Now, there are several approaches that you can take when it comes to home security systems. The first option is to put up like a home security sign or stickers. These send a clear message that you have some type of security system installed and it's gonna give an intruder a second thought about whether they wanna to try to force their way into your home. You can easily pick up stickers that you can put on your house, even if you don't have a home security system. Another option is outside security cameras. Now, I recently picked up a four pack of these fake security cameras, but one day when I have the budget for it, I'll replace them with real cameras. But for now, I'm simply using them as deterrents. Another option is having a peep hole on your door and using it before you open your door when someone knocks or rings the doorbell. And the last option, which again is a very important one, is a home security system. These can range wildly in both costs, monthly fees, and installation fees. Remember, if you have a home security system, arm it. For those on a budget, there's other options uh, that you can find on websites like Amazon that are pretty affordable. And I'll provide a link in the description below. Now, 
If you don't have a budget at all for a home security system, here are some other alternatives. Hang a bell on the door. <laughs> at least you get alert in the middle of the night if someone tries to break in. Sounds funny, but hey, it'll work. Door alarms. Uh, again, these are small little devices you can put on doors. And again, you can pick these up online for relatively cheap. And as we discussed earlier, door security bar. Number eight, don't flaunt your wealth. Flaunting your wealth, it sends a signal that you have things that they're probably going to want. So simple things you can do is keep your curtains closed. No reason to show off all the nice things you have in your house. Also, it's not advisable to leave a box of a new big screen TV you just purchased on your curb or some other expensive thing that you got. When you put that box out there, everybody that drives by knows that you now have that. Uh, other things like lawnmowers, barbecue grills, bicycles, just store everything out of sight. Number nine, what to do if you're gone for an extended time away from your home. Here's some simple things you can do to not draw attention to would-be home invaders checking out your neighborhood. As we discussed earlier, put some lamps inside your home on an automatic timer. Have someone mow your lawn. If someone sees that you have an overgrown lawn, it's probably a good indicator that you're not around. Don't post on social media that you're on vacation. Social media can easily provide a lot of information to people you don't even know. Have neighbors remove the mail and newspapers that may accrue at your house or have the post office put a hold on delivery. Also, be sure to ask your neighbors to take out your trash as this can alert others that you aren't around to take it out yourself. And finally, number 10, considerations if your car is outside your house. Don't leave your car door unlocked. Don't leave keys in the vehicle. And do not leave the garage door open or in plain view. With these simple and inexpensive steps, you can severely reduce the probability that your home will be a target for home invasion. If you found this video to be useful, please click on the like button below, subscribe to our channel, and visit our website. As always, be safe out there.